Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. So as you watch this, I should be on holiday in the Lake District. I'm going tomorrow. So that's great news of course for me, but it does mean I haven't had quite the usual time to create a video with all the usual editing and high production values, etc. So I thought instead I'd do something quicker. I'd make a quick vlog style video on how to work online and how to create your dream job online. Because I do believe I've got a blueprint that anyone can use in order to, well, do pretty much any type of work they want to on the web. So I've been working online for the last eight years successfully. I haven't had to get a proper job. And during that time, I've had tons of great experiences that I've been incredibly grateful for. I've got to create a top selling app. I've got to work with people around the world and travel to meet them. I've got to uh, have a book published. I've been published in magazines. I've got to play with cool technology before it's been released to the public, all this stuff. And none of it would have been possible if I didn't work online. If I'd been told when I was a kid that this would be my job when I was a grown up, then I'd probably have thought, you were pulling my leg. So I've obviously still got an awful lot to learn. I'm not rich by any means, but I find my work very fulfilling. And I think it's on a great trajectory and I don't think that's coincidence. I've got some big plans for my career and for the Bioneer in particular. And hopefully I think if I continue to follow this blueprint, then I'll be able to see them through. So the strategy that I'm gonna to talk to you about is something called springboarding. I came up with that term as far as I'm aware. It probably is talked about elsewhere under a different name but I'm not aware of what it is. And basically the central premise is you're going to build up experiences and contacts and successes and use each one to help build momentum and launch yourself towards that next successful project. So when I started working online, I finished university, moved in with my mum, and like probably most of you, I didn't have the funds or the experience or the contacts that would be necessary to launch some kind of big ambitious entrepreneurial project. So instead I use something called bootstrapping. So bootstrapping, this isn't a term I made up, bootstrapping means that you do some kind of work as a side project, it, well, as your main project, in order to bring yourself some kind of income that you can then use in order to give yourself the flexibility and the finances that you can then invest into your bigger dream projects, which will start off as the side projects. So in my case, as an example, I started off as a writer. This is a really simple business model. All I had to do was do the writing I was asked to do, send it and then get paid via PayPal. It was stable, reliable, and it gave me flexibility and time so that I could develop my own skills as a programmer, as an editor, as a videographer, so I could learn about fitness and etc. And all of this meant I was able to pursue the things I really was interested in. At the same time though, bootstrapping this way also gave me experience and it gave me contacts. It meant that I got used to writing large volumes and focusing. It meant that I learned how, you know, working online works. I got to use all the tools. I made contacts with other bloggers, blog owners. I learned about marketing. I learned about how to create a blog. And all of this would prove to be incredibly useful. So that's bootstrapping. And if you're starting out, I highly recommend it. Then at the same time, I recommend building a personal brand and viewing yourself as a personal brand. And what I mean by this is that each job you do and each contact you make, you're going to add to your portfolio. And that portfolio you can then display on a website, on LinkedIn. You can talk about it with people when you're networking. And basically you're trying to build yourself up into this kind of superstar in the industry that you want to be in. So it's not enough to just take the work and then quietly beaver away on it. You want to maybe vlog about it or blog about it. You want to talk about it on LinkedIn. You want to post it wherever you can. And then this way you'll find that each success will attract new successes towards you. So as most of you know, I also work for Android Authority. That opportunity came about partly because I had a YouTube channel already, so they knew that I liked talking on video. And it was partly because I'd made apps for Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion was interested in working with me probably because I'd already made multi-screen multitasking. So you see each success led to the next success. Then I got a book published on app development, which was probably partly because i have been working with Android Authority and had those previous app successes. And then by putting all this onto my CV on LinkedIn, and boasting about it on videos like this and on my blog, I can then attract more uh, better quality work to myself, having built up that expertise, that experience, and having proven myself, built some authority. So in that regard, I'm treating myself as a brand, not just as an employee or a service provider. And this is something that I think can benefit anyone, even if you are traditionally employed in a nine to five job. Create yourself that blog, think about the experiences you've got and think about how you can work on those experiences and gain more, whether that means doing an online course, whether it means doing night classes, whether it just means volunteering to work one day a week. I worked at a writer's news magazine and was an editor and writer there for a year, and I wasn't really paid for that. So, but it's really helped me 
in terms of my career probably helped me to land some of those jobs as a freelance writer. So you see, each thing you do, each job you take on should in some way be progressing your career and helping you build towards your eventual goals and giving you the power so that you can start choosing which work you want to take on and choosing how much you want to charge for it as well, of course. I like to think of this as personal R&D, so R&D being research and development. So if you go to a company like Google or Microsoft, they have an R&D department, they'll invest money there, and then this department will work on projects, they'll try out new technologies, they'll do research, and then that allows them to potentially release new exciting products that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Of course, some of them will amount to nothing. It's the same thing with yourself. You can't just be working in your business, you know, doing the work that you have to do to survive. You need to make time to work on your business to improve the way you're branding yourself, to improve your skill set, to improve the way you're presenting yourself. So for someone who's self-employed, that means giving yourself some time to learn programming, editing, uh, uh, design, whatever it is that will help you to progress your career. And if you're regularly employed, it might just mean, like I say, doing some kind of course, or it might mean you know, volunteering or just putting in some extra hours, or just updating your CV with all this stuff so that you're more and more appealing for those future projects. But then that's really where the springboarding comes in and where you start building towards your bigger goals because I think you should start out with all this with some kind of vision of what you eventually want to achieve and what you eventually want to be. Like I say, I've got big plans for the Bioneer. We're talking like evil genius style plans except for not evil and probably not genius either. Basically, have some kind of grand vision. A vision is different from a goal and then have the smaller steps that you know you need to take in order to get there. And my favourite example of this, because sometimes you can uh, make this progress not linear but rather kind of um, tangential so doing you might work in a different industry and it still helps you work towards your goal and my favorite example of this is Sylvester Stallone who wanted to be a big actor obviously is now but he didn't get there through the usual channels he didn't get there by taking on bit roles and gradually you know acting in bigger and bigger movies what he did instead was he wrote an amazing script that being Rocky and then he used that as leverage in order to land himself the leading role the studios liked it so much that they were willing to take that risk on him because they wanted that script so he didn't have the excess he did he wanted the traditional way so he went a different route instead likewise my plans are of course to use the Bioneer as a kind of platform it attracts other work to me you know it demonstrates what I can do at the same time it means that if I launch something like an app or like a book then I can talk to you guys about it and if you like it then hopefully you might check it out say I wanted to do a Kickstarter to create an app that would help with your fitness and brain training which maybe I do by the way then I think that having this as a platform and maybe Android Authority as well if they were you know, willing, then I could reach a bigger audience and at the same time having that experience as someone who's written books on development, as someone who's made a big app, you know, I'd, I'd have a much greater chance of winning the trust of people to back that project and make it a reality. Likewise, having the contact with other sites means that I can get them to cover my story, you know, so each success is building towards the next and you have to have that end goal in mind but you also have to put in the grind, do the horrible work if sometimes each day in order to get there and that's how you use springboarding to accomplish pretty much any kind of job you want. The key distinction to make here is the difference between a dream, a vision and a goal. So if you've got a dream or a vision that's basically like it's more abstract, it's what you picture yourself as in the future whether that means you're just highly um, successful in your field and influential whether that means you're a good family man or woman whether it means that you're in incredible shape that's the vision it's not it's not concrete you haven't decided I want to be this weight or I want to earn this much money then you set the goals and the most successful goals are ones that are small steps that you can do every single day and you can even break this down into larger goals and smaller goals so for me a goal uh, that I've got is to publish three books I'm on my second one and each book I'm gonna hopefully uh, move more and more towards broader topics which will then hopefully give me more credibility when I want to cover other subjects in the future and maybe move towards a larger publisher because then that can help me to promote my blog much as Tim Ferriss's blog was highly successful after the four-hour work week but then you've got the even smaller goals that you have to do every single day that that's what you want to concentrate on so for me that was writing 10,000 words a day every single day in order to keep those clients happy and for you it might be something completely different if you're working out of course it means not thinking about the shape you want to be at the end of the day but instead just thinking about doing a workout four times a week. Those are the goals you focus on in the short term because they're completely within your control. They're things that you can pass or fail at rather than being abstract distant things. But it's the abstract distant things that gives you the trajectory and that gives you the motivation and the inspiration to keep going. 
And keep in mind that as you gain more experience, as you learn what it's like to work in that industry, your eventual vision and your trajectory might change. In fact, it probably will, and that's a good thing. As you learn more what you like doing, what you're good at, what your skills are, and that's how you start to learn your kind of life purpose. And it does sound a bit hammy, a bit cheesy, but there does come a point where you start to realize what you have to offer and what you want to do with your life, and it becomes a lot more clear. But don't worry if it's not like that right away. You don't need the perfect plan right away. You just need to have a rough vision of where you want to be that's going to motivate you to get out of bed every day and do the work. And then you need to break it down into the smallest steps that you can do every single day, as long as they're moving you slowly in the right direction. And then you can plan out your route as you see different opportunities to work with people, to uh, bulk up your portfolio as they come along. And have that end goal in mind, have that vision. That's what Arnie would always do. But at the same time, be willing to put in the grind daily work because it doesn't come overnight and that's the difference between springboarding and working your way up and developing the, the skills and the knowledge and the experience and the contacts and the portfolio versus just saying I want to be this uh, quitting your day job and then investing all your money into doing it like I say the web makes this more possible than ever before so whatever your dream is whatever your goal is start taking on smaller work start taking on different opportunities learn the skills you need and blog about it blog about it create a social media account because the more you put yourself out there, the more you take those opportunities, the more you'll find they present themselves and eventually you can hopefully achieve whatever kind of dream career you want. So you found this video useful and interesting guys and it's a bit different than usual. Um, I do like to do ones on working online and online business every now and then and I'm very happy to answer your questions so if you have any then please leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best. And yeah, I'll be back to regular schedule when I return from my holiday and I'll be doing that video on the home bat caves. I'm gonna be covering a samurai training, ninja training. I'll be talking more about nootropics. I've got the flow stack video on the way still. So if that all sounds good, then thanks a ton for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.